All right, what up guys, Lynn Ray here. Uh, I wanna make a little video for you guys just to kinda show you or give you uh, a lesson or two that I learned this morning. So this morning I woke up, I was feeling amazing, like level one to 10, level 10. Like vibrationally, I was feeling on you know cloud nine. Uh, felt good physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, all those, I checked all the boxes, level 10. I'm a little tired right now, as you can probably see. Uh, checked all the boxes. Um, so anyways, I woke up this morning around 4.30, uh, got cleaned up. I went straight to the gym, got a really, really good workout. Like everything was perfect. Like I walked in the gym this morning and, um, <clears throat> you know, um, I, the, the area that I like to work in, I, I like to do Olympic weightlifting. So the area I like to work out in uh, was was busy. It was all, all the stalls were taken. And uh, I was like, okay, great, whatever. So anyways, I start doing my warm up and everything. And as soon as I finished doing my warm up, a spot opens. And I was like, perfect, everything, this is great, right? So anyways, I uh, do my workout, amazing workout, felt really good. Um, I got a few increases in, in the weight uh, that I wasn't really planning. I, I like to program my, my, my weights beforehand, but I felt really good. So I kind of went up a few pounds. So everything went great. So. And I'm still feeling I'm up there. I'm really, really high right now. And so anyways, I walk out to my car and I'm like, all right, I'm feeling good. I'm going to go check out my one of my favorite YouTubers who, who also puts out really good high vibrational material. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to listen to his stuff. I'm going to get in an even better space, right? And uh, that, was, that was mistake number one. So again, uh, and that was also lesson number one. So... What I'm learning is, and I think I, I, I think I may have even made a video about this previously, but I don't know if I actually uploaded it. Um, when you are in a certain state, right? When you're in a certain vibrational state, it is important to not let other outside voices in. It's important to not let, let other outside influences in. Um, and, 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 that, and that can go about a, a few different ways, right? Um, you're, I won't get into examples, just, just take it, take it as it is. So it's important to not let other outside voices in, especially when you're in a certain state, right? Especially first thing in the morning, you're feeling great, right? There's absolutely nothing that's really eating at you. There's nothing that's talking in your ear you're feeling great. There's absolutely no need to take something outside and bring it in. So that was mistake number one and lesson number one as well. I was feeling great. There was no reason to introduce something else into my ears. So anyways, I pull up my favorite YouTuber and uh, you know, I'm thinking, all right, I'm just gonna listen to this guy as I uh, drive home and just kind of hype myself. And again, uh, I pull up his, his, uh, his YouTube page and uh, his, his video that he put out this morning. And um, I read the title. I didn't even listen to the video. I read the title and let's see is this working all right looks like it's working again so i read the title didn't listen to the video and um just listen just reading the title took me from up here down below right only for about five minutes and then i was fine after that but um it took me from this really high bright vibrational space to a lower one Right. And again, the video is probably fine. I have not even watched the video, so it's probably, it was probably a great video, but, um, just reading the title just threw me completely off. And here's why. So I read the title and I believe the title was something along the lines of how to remember your past self. And upon reading that, I, I, I immediately think to myself, why would I want to remember my past self? What is my past self going to do that's going to help me at this very second, right? And I understand, you know, there's a, there's a quote, uh, in order to know, I think, it, I believe it's in order to know where you're going, you have to know where you came from. And that does have its place. But for me at this present moment, knowing where I came from does not help me right now, right? If I were to focus on, and this, this probably goes for you as well, I've had a lot of bad shit, you know, a lot of bad stuff happened to me in the past, right? Uh, some things I provoked, something that I did, some things I did not provoke. And 
if I were to, and I've said some good things as well, right? But usually when we think about the past, we don't think about all the great stuff that happened, right? We think about the things that really screwed us over, that really hurt us in the past. And so if I were to think about something that happened to me last week that hurt me, something that happened uh, a month ago that hurt me, something that, something that happened 20 years ago that hurt me, it would not help me or set me up for success right now, right? So me focusing on the past does not help me at this very second. In my opinion, I believe focusing on this very second will help me with this very second and may even potentially help me in the future. And, and, and we, I can even take that a little bit step, a little step forward. Me focusing on the future does not help me at this very second, right? Um, in my opinion, and again, I keep saying in my opinion, but I think if we focus on a future too much sometimes, that kind of stops us from really focusing on what we have to do right now. Now, I'm not saying that we shouldn't be planning, right? We Obviously, we have to make plans, right? Think about what you want to do in the future, and you can do some reverse engineering, things like that. But sometimes we get really caught up in what's going to happen in the future, what we hope to happen in the future, and it really sets us up or causes us to not focus on what we need to do at this very second. And same applies for in the future or in the past, right? Focusing on what happened in the past, and from, from my experience, does not help me, right? It does not help me focus on what I need to do right now. Now, again, it, it can work both ways, right? So I can, fo I can look at things in the past and learn from them, right? But focusing and trying to remember and, and constantly paying attention to things that happened in the past does not really and cannot, for me, help me at this very second. So anyways, that's all I got, guys. I want to keep this really short and sweet. Guys, focus on what you need to do right now. Focus on this present moment. And, um, and what that will do is... <clears throat> Focusing on this present moment will basically keep you in tune with what's happening at this present moment, right? And which, and it could potentially help you in the future, right? So don't focus on the past. Don't focus too much on the future. Focus on right now and uh, potentially, you know, that'll lead to some success uh, at this very moment and maybe in the future. All right, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later. Peace.